welcome to my channel study with danjay in this channel we will study a full four syllabus of science so friends if you want to learn with me so like my video subscribe my channel press the bell icon and ha don't forget to share with your families and friends so our chapter for today is lesson number 2 adaptation for survival in plants now in the previous chapter we have studied different different types of plants trees but why are they different from each other yes they are different from each other because they have adapted it themselves different from each other now what is the meaning of adaptation adaptation means the special feature that allow an organism to live in a particular area are known as adaptation now why are these special features important yes these special features are important because plants have developed different features in order to survive in different places now for example let's take cactus plant cactus plant do not have leaf but instead leaf it has spines now where does the cactus plant grow very well yes cactus plant grow very well in desert in the desert it's too hot that is why the leaves are reduced with the spines let's move for next the habitats of a plant now what is the meaning of habitat uh, habitat means a region where a living thing lives or grows naturally is known as its habitat now a plant differ greatly of its habitat can be divided into two parts on the basis of terrestrial plants and aquatic plants adaptation in plants a plant adapt itself according to the climatic condition the temperature of the place amount of the rainfall sunshine received it, and water availability are some of the factor that influence the adaptation developed by the plant terrestrial plant terrestrial plant are those plant which grow on the land are known as terrestrial plant the terrestrial plant can be further divided into different kinds on the basis of their adaptation to suit a particular area for example different types of plant grows in plains desert hills marshy areas and on coastal areas now plants adapted to grow in hill plains now in plains the climate is warm to hot in summer and cold in winter the plants grow here how many 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 branches and many leaves they shed their leaves in autumn and bear new leaves in spring for example mango neem peepal shisha oak maple gurumukhal etc plants adapted to grow in desert now in desert plants grow such as cactus dash palm and prickly pears as we know that the climate of the desert is hot and sandy and scarce of water but these plants have adapted themselves to live in a least amount of water that is why the leaves are reduced with the spines the green stem of the cactus plant perform photosynthesis and make the food for the plant and store the food in water for the plant the cactus plant have long root system which grow deep and deep and deep into the ground now here you can see a cactus plant now here are many spines on a cactus plant now let's study on the board no plants adapted to grow on hills now plants such as fir pine kedar grows on hills and on mountains as we know that the climate is cold in the mountains and on hills and snowfall is frequent these plants are tall and straight and conical in shape to slide down the snow the leaf of these plant are co covered with a thick 
waxy coating and are needle like which 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 in the loss of minimum water loss minimum water loss and easy to snow to shed off plants adapt to grow in marshy places now mangrove tree is a common example plant grow in the marshy places now what is a marshy places marshy places are those places where soil is clay and very sticky that does not allow the roots of this to get sufficient air that is why the roots of these plant are upside the ground which take them sufficient air plants adapt to grow in coastal areas now in coastal areas the climate is warm and wet and the these plants habitats themselves to live in a presence of salty water these plants have pleasant of pleasant of leaves and do not shed their leaves in throughout the year hence they are called as evergreen plant for example coconut teak cashew nut pepper etc so friends for today this much only if you like my channel so please please like my video subscribe my channel press on the bell icon and ha don't forget to share it to your families and friends bye